Why is my website slow? Part 13. Let's talk about plugins. And before anybody comments, no, it's not the quantity of plugins that matter. It's always the quality of plugins that matter. So you might have 10, 20, 30, even 40 plugins on your website without causing a major slowdown on your site. So what makes a plugin high quality? Now, there are many factors you can consider, but a reputed publisher, good ratings, and regular updates are some of the things you should look out for. Now, when it comes to plugins that slow down your site, there are three things you should look out for. First, plugins that query the database way too often. Second, plugins that load a lot of external assets. And third, plugins that load too many files into memory. Now, obviously, you want features on your site, so you can't get rid of all plugins on your site. But one of the easiest ways to improve performance while maintaining the functionality of your site is to use one plugin instead of multiple plugins for small things. For example, you might be using a different plugin to add the Facebook pixel to your site, and you might be using another plugin to disable comments, and then you might be using another plugin to disable the admin bar for users. For example, WP Code is one such plugin. It offers head and photo scripts, conversion pixels, custom code snippets, conditional logic, error handling, snippet library, and you can basically replace tens of different plugins with this one plugin. And there's a completely free version you can use. I use it on my site as well. So go install WP Code from the link in the description or the pinned comment and follow me for more website performance tips.